here we have some juice going into the battery bank of the lower the lower turbine and it's connected to a, a modified sine wave 2000 watt inverter it's a modified sine wave 2000 watts 24 volts inverter and the bulb is plugged into it LED light and we have at least some lights off of this um, turbine here and you can see there's no flickering of the light so if I turn it off a bit turn it back on and we have juice there and this is the connection right across the battery these are some old old batteries I have here and uh, just have them in charge for the load just to hold the load and uh, constantly they get in some current into them and see some lumps going inside here that's right off the load turbine Said we have we have light. Okay. It's a modified sine wave inverter. Lightweight, easy to carry, just for easy connection and experimenting. And here's my two battery bank. One from each leg of the turbine, I keep them separately just to make sure that the connections are right and each connection are producing electricity. And I have it here and it's up the turbine right there and right here it is. That's the one right there. Not a lot of wind but it's doing its job. I must tell you, these batteries, they are, no, they are not really good. They are not so good to carry any major load. But just for um, experimenting. Until I probably get my hands on some money and buy some new batteries. Build another battery bank. If you are going to be off grid, you must have a battery bank. Also, that 60 watt solar panel there is tied to uh, another battery bank inside that box. And the charge controller for the turbine, there are two charge controllers in there. Two charge controllers in there, right? And as a matter of fact, let's look at them. Let's look at them. Let's go open it up. back here still have light as you can see So here we have a 60 watt solar panel. Getting some shade in it there. Gotta move it a little bit over. 60 watt solar panel connected to this charge controller. 
that's a mini charge control in here for that um, 60 watt solar panel see connected to these two batteries inside here so they are fully charged they are 12 volts anyway that's a 12 volts um, solar panel and this is the grid tie inverter for the wind turbine and that's this is one leg of the wind turbine see it's connected there doing its job and this is the other leg of the wind turbine okay and this is the other leg this this is a manual brake if I take this and connect it to the, the positive lead here, move the insulator, connect it there, it will put brakes on the turbine. So, I have two 600 watt mini charge controller. This one. And that's what I'm doing here right now. As you can see, I have power right here. This is the first time I'm showing that, I, that I'm that i really producing any power. At least I have some light here. Connected to a, a inverter. Giving light. I can plug a drill into there. It will work, I've done it before. So I have lots of power. Right now there are lots of power. <clears throat> and this stuff is working well. And today is a nice windy day. Not too much wind, but clear blue sky, good solar, good for solar also. And don't forget this turbine was the original one and I did some maintenance on it. I give it a paint job. Paint it grey. So sometimes you hardly see it in comparison to that one. And look at it. Buzzing away. But I love that I love this one up here, this one, three blades, and I'm telling you boy, this one I always produce it. Heights do make a difference and the blade also make a difference. This one is producing but not as much amps at a time like the other one is producing. It's not as high, it's not the same blade, so I'm not going to make that a real great comparison. All I know is it's higher than when I originally had it up first, this is at least 20 feet right there. And it's uh, above the roof of the house, so it's getting some clean wind. But this one, look at it. There. I guess in the next year or two, I'll pull this one down for examination and maintenance. But it's working. It's working. And I've tied up those um, power lines coming down up to that point there. Not completely finished. Because, uh, okay, see what's happening now? Oh, yeah. Right here is where I have it. 
until 6. As I said, those batteries are not really good batteries. They are no good, I would say. Can't carry much of any load. But just for the demonstration, I like these small grid tie inverters, charge controller, charge controller, they are so small and it's unbelievable, they are 600 watts, I wish they would make them a thousand watts, I guess that will be there soon. So small, a small, they are as small as a rectifier, some rectifiers that are my original rectifiers. About the size of my original rectifier. When you look at them first, you will take them for rectifiers. And they are grid tie in. They are charge controller, wind charge controller, and they work. They work very well. See it. Still producing some current there. Bye for now, and I'll keep you posted with more developments. Just hear a little alarm here because the thing is sucking all the juice out of the battery when it's breaking up. So constantly, it's getting some juice into this battery bank.
Okay, that's it for now.